Welcome to Yester Quickies, a speedy culinary trip back in time. Today we're traveling to 1977 to discover thumbprint cocktail biscuits. Oh, you're gonna love these. Let's get started. Hey everyone, I'm Jill and this is Yester Kitchen. I've got another quickie for you. Okay, so today, you ready? Thumbprint cocktail biscuits. So supremely 70s as a matter of fact. It came from one of our favorite cookbooks. You ready? Oh yes. Our favorite recipes from 1977. Remember this one? This is where we got our fabulous onion rice from. And today will not disappoint either. As a matter of fact, we're gonna continue to ride the onion soup mix of 1970s craze. So this recipe was submitted from 1977 by Vivian Cromit. So thank you so much, Vivian. I absolutely love these. These are coming together in three ingredients. And okay, so the first thing I have is I have my oven set to 375. And in my happy little mixing bowl, I have maybe about a third of a cup of mayonnaise. To that mayonnaise, here's our onion soup mix. Right in we go. And we're just gonna mix that around. And you just wanna mix that all together until it's perfectly blended. Now, we're gonna put that aside and we're gonna bring in one cookie sheet. This is one of my favorite cookie sheets. As you can tell, it's just so well seasoned and has made so many things full of love. And we are bringing in, yep, you guessed it, refrigerator biscuits from one of these things. <laughs> all we're gonna do is put them on an ungreased cookie sheet and then you're gonna need one of these guys. Yep, your thumb, because it is a thumbprint brisket after all. And of course, we're gonna just make a little well. Take a wild guess what's going in this well. <laughs> but thumbprints, I mean, they were huge. They were popular as cookies, but yes, they are biscuits. And leave it to the 70s to add the word cocktail into it because there is nothing finer than a 1970s cocktail party. As you know, that's all I really ever talk about. Well, I talk about a lot of other things, but that is always my favorite. Okay. Now, we're gonna take our little mixture. And we're gonna take a little spoon. And you are gonna fill maybe about a teaspoon or so into the center of each one of these glorious little biscuits. I know, right? I mean, how easy is this? And guess what we're gonna do? We are gonna bake these, and it's gonna be fabulous. Now, you can get any biscuit you like, but because this is a 1970s dish, and I am such a fan of the 70s, now you can, you can get away with two tubes, because you still have a whole bunch more, but I'm just doing one today. So they make so many biscuits now, so many different varieties, but they didn't in the 70s, so I went with original because, of course, so these adorable little things are gonna go in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes until they are golden brown. And you wanna do the same time and the same temperature that is right on your biscuit tube directions. <laughs> so we're gonna let these guys bake and we will be back. Okay, we are out of the oven and oh, look at these gorgeous things. I mean, they're just like, they're just adorable, aren't they? And I can't even tell you how good they are so different, so out of left field, and so like, why have I not thought of this? I forgot to mention, do not grease your cookie sheet. You don't need it. So once again, the 1970s did not disappoint. You gotta try these, they're way too easy not to. <laughs> and I hope you love them. Thanks for stopping by. It's always such an honor to have you join me. Enjoy eating the past, and I will see you in the next video.